especially on good news. There's no way in the world our little choir is going to win that contest. Reverend, if you would put more focus on my solo and not the size of the choir that we have now, we'd be fine. I'd like you to meet Shirley Haynes. Be not dismayed. I not only want you to be in the choir, I want you to be our featured soloist. Oh. Even if we don't get a bigger choir, that woman alone could win the whole competition. I have told my friends and my family and my sweet little six-year-old son that his mama is going to be singing a solo in the McDonald's Gospel Fest. Huh. But apparently I was wrong. How do we go from a tiny church like ours to one like this? With the Lord's help? But we're going to help the Lord out by winning the McDonald's Gospel Fest. Yes, come in. Pastor, I need to speak with you for a few minutes. May I come in? Oh, yes, Shirley. Absolutely. Thank you, Vanita. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Please, sit down. Is this a good time? Oh, Shirley. Any time is a good time for you. <laughs> you know, Pastor, I really, really enjoy singing with the choir. And boy, do we enjoy having you too, Shirley. And I hope that we can do it again real soon. And we will. <laughs> this Saturday at the McDonald's Gospel Fest. I can't be there. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. <laughs> I said I can't be there. Oh, well. Of course, you can be there, Shirley. You got to be there. I've got to be in Charlotte, North Carolina at a funeral this Saturday. Charlotte? <laughs> there are plenty of funerals right here in Los Angeles. <laughs> Why do you have to go to Charlotte? Because that's where they're going to be burying my cousin Henry. Your cousin? <laughs> you going all the way to Charlotte for a cousin? <laughs> Surely it's not like he's an uncle or a brother. <laughs> we were very close. We grew up together. Yes, and I'm sure he would understand that you already made plans, Shirley. <laughs> you know, they can't make you a videotape. <laughs> Shirley, I'm, I'm sorry. What, what, what am I thinking? Of course, of course you have to go, and I'm, and I'm terribly, terribly sorry. Well, Reverend... I'm going to be praying that our choir will win. God bless you. Thank you, Shirley. Thank, Thank you, you so much. And uh, please give my condolences to your family. I certainly will. Reverend, we've got to get Mrs. Dixon back into the choir. Yes, and I think the operative word here is we. Now, if we all pitch in, and tell Mrs. Dixon how much we need her. Yes. We want her. Oh, yes. And we miss her. I think it'll be all right. All okay. right? So you with me? I'm yes. with you. Are you with got you, Sam. Oh, how nice to see all the co-conspirators in one room. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your support. <laughs> so, Mrs. Dixon, how are you doing? <laughs> Oh, my, you look particularly lovely this evening. <laughs> and you look particularly up the creek without a paddle. <laughs> Why would you say that? Because Shirley Haynes is on flight 447 on her way to Charlotte, North Carolina to bury her cousin Henry. So I guess you know. Reverend, there's not many things that go on around this church that I don't know. So I guess you also know about the plans for the new church. I didn't know that. <laughs> Let me show you. Right now, Mrs. Dixon, it is just a dream. Reverend, that's a mighty big dream. Yes, yes. <laughs> but Mrs. Dixon, it's a dream that we all can share. See, look at this. A chapel that can seat 5,000, no, 7,000 people. And right here, our very own television studio. What do we need with a television studio? Oh, Mrs. Dixon, to broadcast to the sick and to the shut-ins. Picture it. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Old Person sitting in their bleak one-bedroom apartment hungry and desperate for the word unable to get to church and they turn on the television and I reach out to them uh -huh. and see Mrs. Dixon where there was once darkness there's now light 
Where there was once silence, there's now a voice. Where there was once sorrow, there's now joy. And it all starts with me singing a solo and you winning the gospel fest. That's right. <laughs> That's right, Mrs. Dixon. Well, tell me, Reverend, what is that over there? Right over here? Uh-huh. See, Mrs. Dixon, that's a park for the kids to get away from the angry streets. A park? Yes. In the midst of this glorious vision, a simple park. Well, why not have a place where the children can learn the Bible and play? We'll call it the Gospel Garden. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, I like that. I like that. That's good. That's oh, good. and we could have a Noah's Ark petting zoo. Oh. Have two kinds of every animal. Kids will love that. Yeah, well, why stop there? We should have rides and attractions. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the Sermon on the Mount, water slide. <laughs> the fiery furnace, funhouse. <laughs> the leap of faith, bungee jump. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. How about the Last Supper snack bar? <laughs> Okay, Mrs. Dixon, I got it. I got oh, wait, it. Oh, wait, 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 there's more. <laughs> See, on our television satellite station, we could broadcast an exercise show starring Mona mm -hmm. called Abs for Absolution. Oh, I got it, Mrs. Dixon. <laughs> and I could have a cooking show called Sauteing for Salvation. Mrs. Dixon, you know what I'm saying? I really do not think you are taking any of this very seriously. Oh, no, you're wrong. I am taking this very seriously, and I think it's stupid. Oh, Mrs. Dixon, please. <laughs> Let me tell you something. This little church just the way it is. Now, if you want to build the Emerald City, you're going to do it without me. So, Mrs. Dixon, I take it you are not singing with the choir. No. Well, listen, did you see this right here? It's the Hattie Mason Dixon wing for exceptionally gifted <laughs> and stubborn. This is the green room. Hang out in here, and uh, I'll come get you when we're ready for you. All right, everybody, listen up. I need everybody to listen up. Now, I know we're all a little sad about Shirley not being able to be with us. We were great before she joined us, and we can be great even though she's not with us tonight. But, Reverend, with Auntie Shirley, we were winners. Yeah, yeah. right. With Mrs. Dixon, we were at least in the mix. Yeah, that's true. Now we're just another small choir about to lose. No, 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 Cassie, that is not true. Now, we are not about to lose. Now, come on, everybody. It's not about the size of the choir that matters. It's about the size of the spirit that's inside of all of us. Come on, let me hear it. Yeah. Come, come on, y'all. That's what I'm talking about. Hello, everybody. <laughs> oh, my goodness, you are Lou Rawls. Yeah, I was when I woke up this morning. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Rawls, I'm, uh, I'm Reverend David Randolph, and this is the Church of Life Choir. Say hello, everybody. Hi. Hi. Well, listen, I'm emceeing the show tonight, so I just thought I'd stop by and wish you guys good luck. Well, thank you. Thank all right, you. and listen, when the rest of the choir gets here, tell them the same thing, all right? <laughs> So they're big, and they sound great. Lights out, cancel, Christmas is over! <laughs> We're history. <laughs> I don't understand this. Look at you. I don't believe this. Now, if you all want to win, then you all have to think like winners. Now, when you go out on that stage, I want you to plant your feet out there like you own it. Everybody's look on their face should be, this is our gospel fest to win and theirs to lose. I don't want anybody on that stage who does not have the winning attitude. 
Now we're gonna go out there and we're gonna kick some vocal butt. All right? Now come on, let me hear it. Let me hear it. We're gonna kick some vocal butt. Everybody get up. Everybody get up. Get, get up. And give it a fries. Now get against the wall. Everybody get against the wall. All right, now we're gonna warm up with when I think about Jesus. Okay? Now here we go. One, two, three. When I think about Jesus. Come on, now. Come on, now. When I think about Jesus. Let the mountain set me free. I can dance. 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 I can Come on. I don't want to go. <laughs> we ain't got no road. Our next choir is appearing on the Gospel Fest for the first time. Under the direction of Reverend David Randolph, please welcome the Church of Life Choir. And they're going to sing for us, Hallelujah, You're Worthy. to our second and third place winners tonight. And I must say, folks, we've heard 15 wonderful choirs tonight, and as far as I'm concerned, let me tell you something, every one of them are winners. But now it's time for our first place winner. Envelope, please. Yo, this is whack. We didn't get second or third. Yo, let's bounce. Yeah. And the first place winner is the Church of Life Choir. <laughs> I 
just, I just want to say thank you to the Lord. I want to say thank you to the judges. I want to say thank you to our congregation, to our wonderful choir. And I also want to say thank you to our wonderful and the beautiful soloist, Mrs. Hattie Dixon. Folks, that's the end of this year's Gospel Fest. And we thank you all for coming, and we hope to see you all next year. Aren't you coming? Everybody's having pie and coffee in the kitchen. No, I think I'm gonna stay here. No thanks. It's peach, your favorite. I could put some vanilla ice cream on it. <laughs> no, I'm fine. Now, what's the problem? You won the Gospel Fest. Isn't that the beginning of your road to your big dream? You know, Miss Dixon, I was just thinking, and I realized that you were right. I'm always right. <laughs> but exactly what was I right about this time? No, Miss Dixon. I do not want a big church with a television studio and 7,000 people in the congregation that I may never get to know. This is a community church, and we all share in each other's lives. And I realize that that is the kind of church that I want to serve. You know, Reverend, there are small ministers at big churches, and there are big ministers at small churches. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. How about that pie and coffee? I think I'll do that. You know, Mrs. Dixon, by the way, what made you come back and sing tonight? You think I'd buy this dress and nobody see it? Ooh. Yes. Yeah. In my shop. Yeah. Kind of a rhinestone. Talk about me. Oh, look at you. Talk about me. Good morning, church. Do you notice anything, church? <laughs> For those of you who may not have heard, the Church of Life Choir took home first place at the Gospel Fest last night. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, church, I would not be true to myself if I did not point out that winning is not the only thing. Okay. It's only one thing. And all of the trophies, and all of the success, and all of the spoils of our momentary triumphs mean nothing if in their pursuit we lose our own vision of what is right and what is wrong. For church, we must remember that we're all here to serve our fellow man. Yeah. We're all here to love our neighbor as ourselves. Yeah. And above all, we're here to love our lovely, wonderful Father. Yeah. With all of our heart. Yeah. And all of our soul. And all of our mind. For in doing so, people, we will all have a victory far greater than any trophy could ever symbolize. We'll have a blessing in our souls. And we'll have grace in our spirit for all eternity. Amen. 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 Well, don't shout me down when I'm preaching good. I said amen. Amen. And now, church, I would like to introduce a wonderful and brilliant singer who we had the pleasure of meeting and getting to know. 
Brother Lou Rawls, will you come up to the front? Reverend, I tell you, I'm, I'm very happy to be here this evening. Yes. Very proud of you and the choir for winning the contest. Yeah. But right now, I feel like I need to sing a little praises myself. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> what would you like to sing, brother? I think uh, just a closer walk with thee. Oh, yeah. All right. Yes. yes, brother. Just a closer walk. Closer, walk with thee. Oh, granted, granted, Jesus, if you please. Daily walking close to thee. Just let it be. Dear Lord, won't you let it be? Thou art strong. Thou art strong. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, keep me from all wrong. From all wrong. I said, I will. I will be satisfied. 